Hey everyone, this is Anna with Adventures with Anna and my light's flickering. I got fuzzy hair. <laughs> anyway, I forgot why the light's flickering. It's a weird light anyway. Hey, this is Anna with Adventures with Anna and it is time for my weekly yarn talk video. Um, I have actually made quite a few things this past week. You guys are going to be totally shocked. Now, if you are following me on Instagram, you have seen almost all of these items. There's a couple of them that you haven't seen, but if you'd like to know what I'm working on, what I've finished, follow me on Instagram. The link is down below, or you can look me up. I am the smelly lady. It's all one word, all lowercase. Um... Like I said, I've actually been quite busy. I've, it's kind of handy, as I've pointed out before, this shelf right here, which way is it going? Right here, the shelf, has all my works in progress. And, oh, goodness, there's one more thing I did. Or hide this. Has all my works in progress on it, and it helps me to see what I have, and since I keep my projects, most of them, in clear plastic bags, it helps it helps it be easier for me to see what the project is and decide whether or not I feel like sticking it in my bag to work to take with me to work on. Um, and a lot of times if I do projects, I finish one, I only have certain colors of yarn in my bag so you'll notice that a lot of my projects tend to be the same or similar colors. <laughs> There's a reason for that. With my yarn being upstairs now in my craft room it is not as convenient for me to just go rummage through my yarn totes, grab some yarn, find a pattern and work on it. I am mainly just stuck with what yarn that I have with me and I have to go from there. So anyway, one of the first thing I did, I seen a YouTube tutorial. No, it wasn't on YouTube. It was on Facebook. This little thing came across my feed and they were showing how to use cardboard to make pom-pom makers. They only used one piece of cardboard, but I figured one piece would be too flimsy. And this was actually folded on me once, but I have, I glued two pieces of cardboard together, and then I measured this out. This is a three inch square. So basically you just, you know, measure whatever side you want, cut a little U in the middle, and then you wrap your yarn around the middle and leave space so that you can um, put your center string through here and tie it and then of course clip along your edges and you have a pom-pom well of course I had to try it out I think I did this last Sunday maybe Monday night I can't remember but anyway I made this pom-pom it is a a lavender and kind of a I don't know what you call it a plum color maybe but anyway I think it turned out pretty cute this is like I said, the square measures three inches, so I'm guessing after all trimming and whatnot, which I am not good at trimming, but I'm guessing it's about a three inch pom pom. I think it turned out pretty cute. I don't have anything to put it on yet, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I made a pom pom and I didn't spend any money on pom pom makers. I actually recycled cardboard that we already had and used the hot glue gun that we have and made a pom pom maker. I'll set that back here so Fuzzy doesn't get it. Trust me, she probably would. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen this as well. Um, I posted this on Monday. Funny thing, on days that you don't have to work, you seem to be able to get up earlier and you're ready to go, you're not tired, you just go, 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 go. Well, that was part of my problem on Monday, which was Labor Day. Um, we took the day off and actually went to see my husband's parents. Had a nice visit with them. Haven't seen them in quite a while. But I was laying there in bed and my brain just kept going and going and going. And I also showed this on my Thursday video. My uh, crochet with me video if you watched it. But anyway, this is Tunisian crochet. This is a USA flag. And this is what we will be... I want to make it... This one still has all the strings attached. I have not finished it off because I have not been in my craft room too much to be able to do so. I had this picture. 
I'm not sure the lid is, but it's got the cotton yarns that I used in it. But I'm going to finish this off, and then my Thursday crochet with me video, we will be make another, making another one of these. And it will be part one of two parts to make a decoration for the 4th of July or possibly even Flag Day if we get it done in time. Memorial Day, Labor Day, whatever flag holidays you want to use. So, if you want to learn how I made this, it is all simple Tunisian crochet, then check back on Thursday because this is what we're going to be doing. Like I said, I, I did this on Monday. And this guy is so stinking cute. Um, Painted World and Fiber Arts, and I will put the link to Heather's vlog down in the description box below. She is hosting on her Ravelry group by the same name, Painted World Fiber Arts, and Amorigurumi Crochet Along. I guess there's no actual pattern, but she's just inviting people to um, create Amorigurumi and share pictures and tag her on um, her uh, Instagram feed or post pictures to the chat group that she has created on Ravelry in her group for this. I decided to go ahead and do it, and I know how we all like making octopus, so I made another little octopus, and this is my first entry into her crochet along. Is he just not adorable? I mean, googly eyes and all. See that? Googly eyes. <laughs> anyway, um, I made him, I made his little cute little hat, and put googly eyes on him. I did not sew the hat on, and obviously you can't sew googly eyes on. I actually used the hot glue gun. And the kicker to this, he smells amazing. Instead of being stuffed with the polyester stuffing that you put in most amigurumi, this guy is stuffed 100% with lavender flowers. So, yeah, he smells amazing. Wouldn't he be cute when you open your drawer and see him sitting there on top of some neatly folded clothes. That's what I thought. But anyway, I made this and I do plan on making more to enter into Heather's contest. So make sure you check it out on Ravelry and also check out her YouTube channel because she talks about it on there with what she's doing with it. Now while I was doing laundry this past week, I was browsing YouTube and I came across the channel that does Tunisian crochet. This is a, oh the lighting is terrible. Anyway, this is a royal blue, like a dark, there we go, dark blue and red, and it is Tunisian crochet done with a double end hook. It is a reversible stocking hat. This side is mainly blue with red stripes. The other side is mainly red with blue stripes. And I do apologize for the lighting in here. I only have just a little bit of light, so I'm not, until we get better lighting, <laughs> we're going to have to put up with this. But believe me, this is like, I'm going to say it's probably like a cherry red. There is no labels on these. These are just random balls that was in some stuff I was given. And this is a, like a dark blue color. But anyway, this is a reversible hat. Blue on one side, red on the other, done with a double-ended Tunisian crochet hook. <coughs> Pardon me. I better check my notes. And this is a child size hat, so it should fit like ages one to three. It does have quite a bit of stretch. It would actually fit me. So next time I make another one of these, I need to do a little bit of tweaking with the pattern. Um, this was an experiment, kind of, but it's going to go in my bag, which is right, I think that's my bag. That's yes, right here. Actually, my project shelf is down here. This is just bits and pieces. But it's, it's going to go in my bag of hats to donate to my church. So, there's that that I created. And another thing that I created this past week is, and this is all, this one is Tunisian crochet as well done with a double-ended hook partially. 
This is a water bottle holder. I know it's kind of hard to get it all in the picture here. Um, it, it has a few boo-boos on it, but it was the first time I'd made it and it was an experiment. It does comfortably fit a bottle of water. And then I did the simple Tunisian one row at a time and put a long strap on it. The strap will go across your shoulders. It doesn't hang down too far, but it hangs down far enough. And I told my sister that next time she comes down to visit, she can have this. It is made out of cotton, 100% cotton. Um, I believe it is lily sugar and cream. The This is a jute, and this one is wine. So anyway, this is Tunisian in the round, except for the... This is just regular crochet on the bottom. And then, of course, this is just a simple Tunisian alternating colors every other row. So anyway, that was for my sister. Now, these are not new projects. These are just projects that I had laying around that I finally sewed the tails on. So I can consider them a completely finished object now. I made these sometimes, sometime back. Uh, these are some Tunisian picture washcloths that I made. Um, doing um, the Tunisian knit stitch and the Tunisian pearl stitch. These are Red Heart, not Red Heart, Lily Sugar and Cream. As you can see, this one's a peace sign. I really like this one. But like I said, I didn't do this this past week. I just finally finished sewing in the ends so that we could actually use these for washcloths. That one turned out really good. This one I'm not real happy with. It's a little tighter. I think I must have used a smaller Tunisian hook. But this is a kitty cat sitting on a wall. Like I guess it's, I think it's a smaller hook because it's a lot tighter than that other one. But I finished sewing in the ends on this. I did not make these two this past week. And today, I got busy. I, this is a spiral. Now this is the same red and blue as this Tunisian hat here. Because that's what I had in my bag. This is a three to no a six to twelve month size, I believe, and it is regular crochet. And I've done a two color spiral in the round, so that goes in the bag to donate to my church. And then, because we had tournaments the last two nights, so unless we had regular customers, my magic players were pretty much occupied until they needed to report their winnings and stuff. So I've had a little extra time. So tonight, if you remember these two browns from like last week, these were still sitting downstairs where they should not have been. They should have actually been brought back up into the craft room and put away. Shame on me. But anyway, that's okay because I started another spiral hat. This one kind of looks like a cinnamon roll. And I'm about out of the darker color. So it might end up being, you know, swirly and then the lighter brown on the bottom. But I'm thinking about making this one adult size. Because I think it's cute. I like the cinnamon roll color. <laughs> anyway, that's all my... I guess that this isn't a finished object. This is a work in progress. That was all my finished objects. This is my latest... No, oh. <sighs> dropped my yarn. There we go. This is my. I started this this evening. After I finished the red and blue one, and the other one that I started. If you remember, it's been a while. A while back, I had a um, yeah, plug in my laptop. I started a crochet shawl with some ice yarn that I had gotten. It's this camel, it's called camel and beige, and it is like a wool and acrylic and mohair and some other things. It was the sandpiper shawl and it required too much thinking. And I just, I could not concentrate on what I was doing and what I needed to do with the constant interruptions that I often have, and I lost complete track of where I was on it, so I frogged that. I rolled this all into a big ball, which I still have several of the regular 
balls left. This is about three or four. I started the vintage Tunisian shawl. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but I started a while back. Well, for some reason, I don't know how it got in my bag, but somehow it got in my bag. So I was like, eh, why not? I'll work on it. I couldn't remember how to, to what I was even doing with it. And reading the pattern, it was not making any sense at the point where it just says continue on until you have 105 stitches on your hook. So I frogged it all. I had about 52 stitches on my hook. And I frogged it all. This is what I'm back to. <laughs> I think there's about... I can't remember how many. And I don't want to count them. I have a little counter on my, my old phone. I use it just for, you know, social media and stuff like that over Wi-Fi so it's not using up all my stuff on my regular phone. But anyway, I'm using a counter on that so I can keep track of how many stitches I have. Not rows, but I'm using it for stitches. How many stitches I have on my um, hook. That way I can make sure each row I only have one more stitch. But anyway, get this. Let's take it off the hook. And I'm using, this is one that was missing when I did my hook thingy the other day because this was in with this project. But this is one that I've shortened up because right now I don't need all of it. But eventually I probably will because it's going to have 105 loops before I start the decrease. But um, this is a 6 millimeter, and this yarn is probably a, I think it's what they call a fingering. They say it's a 3, but I think it's a little smaller than that. But anyway, <clears throat> that might be hard to see. This is the same stitch as um, one of the stocking hats that I did. This is Tunisian crochet, and instead of going in the front loops, you go in between. Let's see if I can show you here. See the vertical loop here? Instead of going under that or around that or whatever, you put your stitch in between the two vertical loops. So this will be a, it's a pretty tight weave, but you can still see through it a little bit. But I think it'll be nice and warm for this winter. And I do plan on finishing it now that it's clicked what I was doing. There's just one increase on each row. Can't be that hard, right? So I want to finish this. I know I said that before. I started it back probably the end of sometime in March and just never did it. But anyway, that is my two works in progress that I have in my bag. I don't have anything else to share. Fuzzy, do you have anything you want to say? Fuzzy, do you have anything that you would like to say? Come here. She's like, whatever mama you can sit here and pet me but I'm not going to get up on your lap but anyway that's all I have for you today um, thank you for watching uh, make sure you come back on Thursday for the crochet with me and we're going to make one of the American flags and if you want to know what you're going to need um, I used a J crochet hook, Tunisian crochet hook, and this is red, white, don't ask me the color blue because it came in just a random ball, probably just red, white, and blue, um, cotton yarn, I believe I used the lily sugar, well, here, look at this, the white still has a ball band on it, yes, sugar and cream is what I'm using, and we will make one from start to finish, in the video on Thursday. So thank you guys for watching. Come back check with me on Thursday and I will see you then.